Welcome to The Prosperity Practice. The Prosperity Practice. Our personal take on what it takes. Push, challenge, light the fire. Do not chase prosperity. Rather, be prosperous. Prosperous. Welcome to The Prosperity Practice with your host, Brandon Hanley. Looks like we made it. Let the Ready, Ready to, to go. go. going on prosperity practitioner brandon hanley here the voice of a generation generation of you know we're in such an awesome space right now where we've got so much uh happening around us uh, people we got all kinds of people saying um you know oops <laughs> backing up got all kinds of people talking about it's being conscious age and all that other jazz but you know i just think that it's uh it's where we are as a generation um and i think that it's where uh we're headed as as kind of like uh i wouldn't say culture right if we look around us we can see that um yeah i think there's a lot of good going on and maybe it's just me but uh i think that you can do the same thing right that's the the gist of the, the gist of all of this is that uh, we all have the same abilities. Uh, you know, we all have the ability, and what, what I mean the same abilities, I mean, there's, obviously there's going to be somebody who's a more talented artist, there's going to be somebody who's a more talented uh, football player, and all, all these other things, and, you know, different skills that people have, but innately, we all have the ability to see good if we look for it. We all have the ability to set our minds on something. We all have the abilities to focus on something. And we all have that ability to plant our own seeds. And I think that that is, is this quote that we're talking about here today. Uh, you know, with, this is from Plato. And I'm going to stop myself in the middle of nothing. There's no traffic here yet. So apply yourself both now and in the next life without effort. Without effort, you cannot be prosperous. The land be good. You cannot have an abundant crop without cultivation. You cannot have an abundant crop without cultivation. This thought kind of occurred to me yesterday as I was just kind of you know meandering through the day, doing doing whatever it is I do. In the middle, smack tab right now, guys. If you don't know it, uh, I'll share that. I'm in the middle of doing a uh, real estate licensing course in uh, the state of New Jersey, um, and and uh, it is intense. You know, I'm just I'm just in there uh, soaking in all, as much knowledge as I can, and you know, in the middle of that, you know, got things going on with the family, and and you know, just trying to do do my best in the day and in the moment. That's what I mean by meandering through it all. But uh, a couple of the thoughts that occurred to me. And if you're not familiar with uh, Napoleon Hill and, um, what is it, um, Think and Grow Rich. In Think and Grow Rich, he recommends this exercise where you write down, like, your vision, uh, you know, what you want to see in your life, um, your goal, and uh, you look at it. Put it down like an index card, a business card, or whatever you put. It, but the thing is, that you look at this. You look at this morning and night, maybe even in the middle of the day, right? And you write it in the present tense, and you say, "Hey, this is my life. This is what it looks like right now." Uh, and and you write your kind of your vision on it. And and the idea is that those are the seeds that you're planting every day now listen if you plant a seed um you don't have a crop you've got a plant okay and there's 
there's nothing wrong with that if that's you know if you like a plant you don't have a crop and that's what you know Plato is saying here is that you need to cultivate a crop and in order to cultivate a crop you've got to plant many seeds so if you look at your index card, your vision, your goal card, whatever you want to call it. There's so many different ways. And I'll, I'll tell you this as well. Every freaking, uh, I, I can't, every, every um, personal development uh, book I've read so far has a similar, similar idea. Jack Canfield, um, pretty sure that that's in the science of getting rich in, in one way or another. Every, every one of these has a, a similar idea where you decide on what your idea is. What is your plan? What is your vision? And then you set yourself up with, with a reminder of, of you know, revisiting this, this seed every day. <clears throat> you plant many seeds of the same type, of the same ilk. You plant many seeds for a crop, okay? And when you plant the same seed over and over and over again in your fertile mind, you've got a crop you're cultivating now, okay? And that's what that's what he's saying here. That's what that's what Plato's saying here. That's the idea behind looking at the goal card every day. Because I would be like, well, why would I want to look at this every day? Well, you want to keep that image there, right? We, you know, every time you you create in your mind this picture of what you want your reality to look like pictures we don't we don't read in words we read pictures we look at we look at a word picture it's a painting in our mind when we spell out a paragraph and we, we've got you know our goals our goals are are a painting in our mind it's a vision right in our in our overall life what's that look like and that's the you know that's why the coaching question of, of what's that look like is so prevalent because now you're looking for the details you're looking for the overall picture what's the backdrop look like what's the setting and you know what's happening and what do you feel what's the texture in that and I love that one too what is the texture what is the what is you know we are sensuous beings what is that texture what's it feel like what does it sound like you know what's the temperature in the air as soon as I get to a red light, I'm gonna read this quote again, because I, I feel like again it corresponds to to who you are and what it is that you're doing. And to find prosperity, we need to cultivate. Okay, we need to cultivate uh, our space. We need to cultivate those around us. We need to, to to cultivate any number of things. Like you don't you don't grow orange plants in Alaska. All right, so where are you? You know, how, what is your surrounding? And what does that field look like for you? What is, what is, where are you cultivating? Again, apply yourself both now and in the next life. Without effort, you cannot be prosperous. Though the land be good, you cannot have an abundant crop without cultivation. So again, you can't have a crop with a single seed, okay? So if you need many, of the same seeds, that's the idea of looking at your goal cards every day. That's the idea of creating a goal card. That's the idea of uh, affirmations, okay? That's the idea of, of, you know, a vision board. That's the idea of, you know, putting it into your mind repeatedly, repetition, so that, uh, look, this happens with everything that you do, the habits that you create. Those are seeds. When you create a habit, first it is mental. And then it becomes, uh, it becomes automatic. It, it becomes part of your subconscious, and then your body is doing it automatically. You have submitted to, like, you know, gosh, it's so great because you have created, like, you know, this forest of 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 habits. Okay, you've created this these ideas, and um, when you do it repeatedly with repetition, those are those are the many seeds. That is the crop that you cultivate. Now, uh, Plato's been saying it for, for years, right? And it just takes, it just takes sometimes, hey look, I'm older. It took me a while to understand it. The sooner that you can come to this understanding, that you can recognize this for yourself, 
and you can look at it and how it plays out in your life, the more opportunity you have to create the life that you want. Now, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Like, age in this, in this thing isn't even a thing, right? Age in this isn't a thing. If you have run around your entire life and they tell you that, you know, uh, and I've seen, so I've seen some studies where they're like, hey, your mind peters out around the age 50. No. No. There's no effing way. There's no way. Now, if they studied the average person, then that makes sense. You are not average. There's no way you're average. There's no way you picked up this podcast and you've listened this far into it and you are average. There's no way. Because you recognize that you're something that is not average. You recognize that you are part of like the greatest that there you know, ever was, that there ever is to be. This is life. You have been, you know, life has been, life has been coursing through you. Now you're like, ah, man, there's a, there's a, it's like, it's like being charged, like burnt through with electrical charge, right? Like a path has been burnt through you and there's like that odor in the air. You've been struck. Why, you know, right now I've got like ACDC going through my head, you know, thunder, thunderstruck. You've been struck because you're, you realize that this is possible for you. You realize that creating a life, uh, beyond, you know, what you, what you've ever thought possible is possible. You gotta love, you gotta love the, you gotta love the line that says, um, you know, impossible, you know. Uh, I forget exactly which guy breaks it apart, but he breaks it apart and it says, I'm possible, right? You know, break that word apart. It says, I'm possible. So whatever it is that's out there, it's, it's, I am possible. So guys, again, you are not average. You understand this concept. You will be able to apply it in your life and see it everywhere. You know, you look back, hindsight's twenty twenty. you can look back and, and look at the seeds that you've been planting in your life and whether or not you've been growing that, that, that harvest, right? What have you been harvesting? Have you been harvesting crappy days? Maybe you've been having crappy thoughts, right? Uh, have you been harvesting like, you know, nightmares or whatever? What have you been watching? What have you been putting into your mind? What have you been, what have you been planting? And then what has been showing up in your life? Guys, the evidence there. All you got to do is look back. Look back. Hindsight is twenty twenty. All right? So I uh, hope that you've enjoyed this one, guys. As always, you know, reach out to me, Brandon, at uh, prosperity-practice.com. Uh, uh, I'm just getting ready to sh shut this one off so I can focus on driving back into my class. But uh, that that is it cultivate your crop by planting the same seed repeatedly what do you want to show up in your life plant that seed repeatedly keep listen and if it doesn't show up in a month keep planting the damn seed it will show up take action what are some small actions that you can do to cultivate that seed what are some small actions that you can do to nurture your dream Write it out if, if it's simply writing it out because even that can be terrifying. There's so much that you can do. Um, reach out to me if you're having any, any issues. You know, reach out to me if, reach out to me to share something that, you know, you've already cultivated. I'd be happy to share what it is that you found that's like, you know, in, in your own prosperity or in your own self, any of it. All right, guys, take it easy. Thanks for listening today. And remember, reach out to us on Facebook or through our webpage. The Prosperity Practice. The Prosperity Practice. Have something to say directly? Hit us up, Brandon at prosperity-practice.com. Prosperity is a result of action. Take action. That's it. I'm out of here. <laughs>